Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the Avon lady. Your doorbell's broken. <laughs> that joke, a lot of youngies will know probably about that. Do you, do you still get Avon ladies? No, sure. Anyway, I'm here to talk about this today. It's the, the Gilmore Power Rotary, rotary Tools. Okay? And, uh, well, yeah, that's yeah. So, now, I've done a, a bit, bit of research as normal, right? And what's actually happened was a lot of people were complaining about stuff coming damaged, right? So, and, and here it is. I'm no any different. I've got, uh, as you can see, that there's the hole, but the top bit's missing, right? Or it's on the side now it's missing. Uh, there's another bit, there's another bit, there's another bit. So, to be fair, you, you see these rotary tools, and they all come with... Uh, so many bits, right? This was no different. This is probably a hundred and fucking hundred and eighty bits or something. I can't mind. To be honest with you, no really interested in that. But the thing that really interested me in this was that the motor in this is it's it says it's seven speed variable, but I'm not sure if it's actually a six. But the motor, the motor is actually at 170 watts. Now it's one of the better power because a lot of them are only coming through at 115. So I thought to myself, right, if I go for the 170 and depending on the type of work that I'm trying to tackle, um, it will also depend on how good it works. So I've got a lot of chance of doing things slow and I've also got a lot of chance of doing things fast. Right, so, um, and that will depend on what I'm working, what I'm, what I'm doing on it. So, there you go. Rather than pulling this out, on the first thing, right? This thing here, that's this, uh, that's an extendable tool that, that goes into the tool and gives you just a small, uh, a small bit to hold basically to work with. So that was something I was looking for. Also, I bought this, it was only a couple of quid, right? To be fair, right? And this is an extension hook, so basically the bracket fits on the table and this actually extends so you can see the hook right so the hook on this um the first oh yeah I'll, I'll actually i'll show you right because this there's the dremel tool first i'll get that out there's the there it is there itself it's actually quite a good weight i was actually quite impressed with this okay um but there, there's what i was on about so that that will hang on to the the gimp I've got screwed to the table basically. <laughs> I call it the gimp when I could never remember the name of something. So, but so that'll be hanging there. So I'm not really hanging onto this big monstrosity for if I'm doing small intricate work. And that's where that additional tool comes in for the to be delicate stuff, right? Now, this is the the packet of cutting this. But this is some of the accessories which are worth getting. So, you get, that, that's uh, that's some of the unbroken blades, right? But, you can buy metal ones and they're, they're actually quite good for what they can do. For, for handy use of um, this kind of art basically, for, for modelling and things like that. Some of you know, I mean, if you're, if you're cutting deck in, this is not a tool. But if you're making a model aeroplane, for instance, or a model boat, something like that, um, handy dandy. Now, if you're needing to cut metal, because they do cut to a certain thickness of metal quite well, you need this attachment, right? And basically, now, I've, I've unscrewed, you'll, you'll see threads there, right? There's a... Uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was that, no? There you go. Right. So that's the way the thing comes, if I can... I don't think they're burnt mass. Right. That's the way it comes. It comes screwed on like that, right? So you take that off and you're now showing the thread. Okay. You then, as you can see, it's got a screw hole into it, right? So this thing actually just screws on, right? And bobs your hand. Now this turns a bit, so you can it's no it's fixed tightly, so when, when that's tight on, right, you can move it because it depends on what way you're going to be holding this tool. That's no use. If I'm cutting, I'm going to get into me. So if I do that, I'm now protected from sparks. Plus, safety goggles as well. Must. All right. But that's when the hand, the 
the handy things about this. And, and I, I just thought, wow, that's a good feature, right? And then I come across this other tool. It comes with this. Now, this is uh, this could have come in handy actually the other day when I was working on cutting a new light switch out, right? But again, look, it just screws on, right? And then you put your you put your bit into it. So there's the there's the bit there where the bit goes in, right? And basically, this sits on that box. On that box. <laughs> This sits flat on the surface like that to do, well, basically an inscribing. So, for instance, um, if I was making a sign, right, it would be nice to drill a wee thin etched line around the outer limit and then chamfer the ends. Now, last night, I'm going to buy tools for this, but last night uh, when I was doing my research, uh, uh, you actually get routing tools. So basically you can put something on that that will corner the edge. So if you look at um, your table, look at some of your photo frames. Best example would actually be if you look at the frames around your doors, right? If you look at that wood there, you see it's nice and flat, but it's got a chamfer round edge on it. That's what this thing's capable of. Model size, of course, but it's still it's still capable of if you're doing a wee sign or a plaque, you can you can put that into it. And it's just so handy. It, it beggars uh, basically your imagination for, uh, to do something with that. Right? And then there was uh, what was the other end? There was something else, and I can't mind what it was because that went on. That went on to something else. Oh, okay, came up. Can't mind. That was one of that, that was one of that. That wasn't of that. I honestly can't remember what I used that for. But here's another interesting bit. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll put this back on again just to protect the threads and stop for splitting open. So there's a handle. Now, the handle actually just... Ah, oh, that's what it was. Got it now. Take two. Right. You slide the handle on. Right. There you go. Now, actually, this cut here, um, well, maybe it's not a cut, there, but there's, you can feel it locking in so that it doesn't move, right? So you, you put that into there and then you just screw that back on. That's the wrong end, it's the wee end. For the love of God. I'm getting better at this, honest. Right, so now you've got that, as you can see, so it's like a wee mini drill thing, right? But the beauty is, look at that, you've got the confidence. That isn't a heavy, and yet if you want to, you can use two hands. But um, it's it's amazing. You're limitless on what you can do with these things. Very, very, very good. Now, to be fair, there is dearer ones out there, okay? And to be fair, there is cheaper ones out there. But to be fair, for the money, I think you'll find it hard. To beat this now really 170 watt motor that's made in china uh, there's people who say had one it was garbage um well i'm not looking certain words i've got to watch this so that's manure basically right so that, that's manure okay uh there's other people who go that's the best thing since sliced bread now to be honest with you i've no used this um there is certain things I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be making. So what what I, pro, what I plan to do is, I'm going to be posting up a couple of jobs, DIY, RT creative things, using this to see how it goes. Now, oh, another thing as well as, I uh, forgot to mention, it's actually, it's not a brushless motor, right? So you've got that one there and there's that one there, okay? These things, the screw out, and they actually give you another packet of brushes. So, to be fair, for well, 40 quid, I think there was something like that, right? It's no really a lot of money, right? So, up to now, we would have seen very happy, right? But bearing in mind the add ons, they're not really worth putting a negative in because they're crap. The plastic case that comes in, that's manure as well. But to be honest with you, it's uh, 
it's better than nothing manure. So, again, that's it. A wee tray comes as well, and this is your hundred and fucking something bits that's in this, right? And it, it doesn't look much, but to be fair, there's brush wheels, there's grinding discs, there's wood root tools, there's uh, buffing tools, there's a sharpening tool, or loads of stuff, loads of stuff. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Um, just a wee uh, Christmas Eve video there for a wee teaser of what's going to be coming up. And uh, well, all that's left to say, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Go back in and watch some of my other stuff and see us waffling on there as well. Um, and stick the closed captions on. It's actually quite interesting. If you're not understanding what I'm saying, it's a bit like an interpreter, but there, uh, some of the times it gets a wee bit mixed up, so it confuses you even more. Have a nice Christmas. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.